Kennedy half dollars from 1983 are collectible but not among the most valuable American coins. However, they honor a crucial figure in American history and his achievements. The 1983 half dollar value depends on numerous factors. Their price range is estimated according to the grading standards, existing varieties and errors, and the mint mark struck on each coin obverse. The 1983 half dollars appeared in circulation 20 years after Kennedy's assassination. The only coin set minted in 1964 contained silver, but the U.S. Mint quickly replaced them with pieces made of less percent of precious metal to prevent hoarding. Since the U.S. Mint ended 40% silver coin production in 1970, you can expect coins from 1983 to be made of copper alloy. As you know, Americans avoid $1 coins and prefer bills. Therefore, half dollars are unofficially the heaviest and most sizable American coinage used in everyday transactions. The story of Kennedy half dollars is sad because these coins appeared in circulation after such a horrifying event. Only a few hours after the president's assassination, Mint director Eva Adams asked Chief Engraver Roberts about putting Kennedy's portrait on a silver coin. Officials accepted the project within five days, which was the fastest coinage approval in American history. Since Jackie Kennedy wanted to keep Washington on quarters, the decision was to replace the Franklin half dollars minted since 1948. Frank Gasparro and Gilroy Roberts utilized their previous already approved work and modified it to the new half dollar design. Americans treated these coins as collectibles and mass hoarding forced the U.S. Mint to reduce silver content the following year. All these half dollars are still the official currency, but it is unlikely to see them in circulation. Many were melted and the remaining pieces are more valuable than their face value, making them a valuable part of collectible sets. The period from creating to releasing Kennedy half dollars was the shortest in American coinage history because of the situation's urgency. Gilroy Roberts and Frank Gasparro based the coin obverse and reverse on their previous work, allowing fast release of these coins into circulation. Gilroy Roberts used John F. Kennedy's portrait to fulfill the obverse coin side. The tragically assassinated president's face is turned left with the word liberty struck above his head, partially covered by his wisps of hair. The date, 1983, is placed below the image with a small D, P, or S above its middle. The motto in God, we trust, is struck left and right of the neck truncation, while the designer initials GR are on its cut. You can see a modified American presidential seal centrally positioned on the coin reverse. A bald eagle holds a shield with vertically struck stripes on its chest while its wings are widely spread. The bird holds a ribbon in its beak with the inscription E Pluribus Unum written along. Thirteen dots and stars added above its head symbolize the first states. In the eagle's right talon is an olive twig with thirteen olives representing peace, while thirteen arrows in its left claw symbolize war readiness. The bird is positioned inside the two circles. The first is made of 50 stars, one for each member state, while the second includes inscriptions, half dollar United States of America. Finally, there are letters of FG for designer Frank Gasparro's initials. They are placed between the left bird's leg and its tail. The about circulated condition makes coins slightly more valuable than their face value, and you can buy one for 70 cents to 1.70. Those in the mint state cost $3 to $55, and their prices depend on each piece's appearance and quality. If you prefer having the best preserved half dollars in your collection, you can get one of those in MS67 grade for $550. The rarest half dollars are those rated MS68, which cost about $4,500. For now, the costliest 1983 PMS66 Kennedy half dollar was bought for $805 after appearing at an auction in 2010.